Yeah, do you have two babies? One baby, two babies. So when he comes home from daycare, um, what do you guys do? Well, I cook and yeah. we eat and then... <laughs> and when you're cooking and eating, what does he do? Runs around. Run around like crazy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Makes messes. <laughs> <laughs> and then I feed, well, we eat and then I give him a bath and then we read and then okay. he... Read? Yeah. What, what kind of stuff do you get a chance to read? What do you like to read? He likes, um, what is the Dr. Seuss book? Oh, the Dr. Seuss books. That's he great. doesn't really like uh, my biology book. So <laughs> That's I, what you're studying at this point? Yeah. So do you find that books calm him down at the end of the day? Yes. And I wondered, because we often recommend people to use Goodnight Moon as part of the way of getting the kids back to sleep, because they get used to the story, they get used to the words, and... At this point, he's really not really ready for the storyline so much, but he's very into objects and animals and faces, as you said. Can I read a book with Mama? Can you do that? Can you hold the bunny for Mommy? Oh. Okay. Is there look at, a bunny? Look at Clifford. Can you show Mommy the doggy? <gasps> look at, look at, look at, look at. Good night, Moon. <laughs> All right, where's Good Night Moon? Is there a bunny on the Good Night Moon? Ooh, you know Good Night Moon. In the great green room, there was a telephone and a red balloon and a picture of <gasps> the cow jumping over the moon. And there were three little bears sitting on chairs and two little kittens and a pair of mittens. Well, and this shows. I mean, there are some times of day and some situations when they're just not going to pay attention to the books. But there are many times of day and many situations when that's the best, best thing and, the, and their most favorite thing. So, you know, this is good. Try it. That was wonderful what you did.